that we're gonna answer for you guys so answer number one or <laughs> we started drinking earlier we want to go have sushi and there's some really bomb jalapeno mango martini jalapeno mango martini <clears throat> all right Where's it at? so Question number one was, do you prefer Speedo or Trunks? I'm more of a Trunks guy. I'm not a Speedo guy at all. I mean, yeah, not even in the right like place. I'm not a Speedo guy. I'm more of a Trunks guy. Yeah, yeah. more of a Trunks guy. Right. Question number two. I'm going. How many years you've been sporting that beer, dude? And what are your plans for the Bronco in the future? That's from Captain Narkill. And the previous question was from uh, Frankenstein84. So thank you. And Captain Narkill asks, How many years have you been sporting that beer, dude? And what are your plans for the Bronco in the future? How about. Doesn't matter, right? So. Almost, almost like six years. I've, I've had this beard for about six years. It should be a lot longer, but I treat it like shit. So I have like super damaged dead hair. So it just Lidans. keeps falling out. So it should be thicker, but can't make it all stay. And my future plans for the Bronco are, uh, I want to make it into like a Baja overlanding truck, if that makes sense. Like I wanted to have a suspension and just go to Baja and have a smooth ass ride. Cause right now with the engine, like you can feel, every, like that engine is too strong for the truck. My suspension sucks. So anything I do, like you can feel it. So my plans are future Baja slash overlanding truck, if that makes sense. And then Bronco Overland wants to know, what made you choose a Ford Bronco? Why did we choose a Bronco? Because I was pregnant. Right. So I was, so I had a 2002 Chevy Blazer. And we used to load the shit out of that thing when we went camping, like, that shit was packed. And then, we had a, she, my wife got pregnant. And then from there we were like, alright, we needed a bigger car. Cause we had that and then we had the Honda Civic. A Honda Civic. Two door. Two door. <laughs> So we said we needed a bigger car. So from there, we started looking on Craigslist, started looking all over the place and looking for deals. And I wanted something different. I wanted something like a like a Nissan or like an old Toyota truck or something just different that would be enough room for the three of us, but also be something different camping. So then, growing up, I wanted a K5 where I always wanted a Bronco. Those were my two cars growing up, like big cars that I wanted. And then, I kept looking at 4Runners and all that, and then just from what I saw on Instagram, I was like, nope, no thank you, that's not me. So then, I found this Bronco, and we went to go see it. Dude was really cool, he was like the next cop. He was the next cop or something, and his daughter had, had he had the Bronco, and then he had, some other like what like a Raptor or something like he had he had a bunch of badass cars so he gave the Bronco to his daughter and his daughter said I don't want it it's too big so then he just had it parked there and that thing was perfect so we show up and we're like all right cool like what's the price and she was showing like what were you like seven eight months uh, I think like eight months yeah she was like eight months pregnant already so she was showing a lot and the guy goes like oh it's close to Christmas time and you're about to have a baby, 
so you know what, I'll give you a good price. So I took it. He gave me a huge folder full of all the receipts that he's done to the truck, so. Snow chains. Snow chains. Uh, he was fucking awesome, man. His house was badass, so. I took it. I bought it. So, there you go. Now, these are just random questions I always get. Either people stopping me on the street or people at work or a uh, few messages I've gotten here and there from the comments like before, like before I put up this thing. How did you get into camping slash overlanding? So, did you ever go camping with your parents? Mm -hmm. No. She was never really into camping. Or when we met, I was really into camping. I love camping. Like, camping is a shit to me. It's just, there's no better feeling of like going out, just getting lost somewhere and just doing what the, fuck, what the fuck you want. Like, you know, like just get in the river, like fucking showering in the river, getting some fucking cold ass water, and fucking drinking all day. Like, that shit's fun. Like, to me, like, that's just like getting away, like not giving a shit about anything going on. And just feeling free, like, just feeling like you can do whatever the fuck you want. So that's what got me into camping. Like, I just love that feeling. And then once we met, I told her, I was like, you know what, I'm over the racing scene. Like, I don't, like, I still drive like a maniac, but I'm tired of, like, putting money. Like, how many times did I shit break down? Too many. I put so much money into that Blazer, and it just kept on breaking down and breaking down. It's a beautiful car. Like, beautiful truck. I love that thing. But it was problem after problem, so. When we got the Bronco, I started showing her these Overland Bound things and videos and all that and I was like, I want to fucking do this. I just want to quit one day and just do this because to me it made sense. And it's weird because I tell people this and they don't believe me and I don't care because this is what I believe. To me it made sense because it's not like, fuck, I'm going to go camping and I'm going to go do this because I want to go here. To me it makes sense because it's like, a lot of people wait till they retire to do shit. But it's like, you're not promised all that time. Like we could go tomorrow if we, you know, if it's our time, it's our time. And that's what makes me mad is that, like people wait till they fucking retire and then I'm gonna go do all this shit on my list. Like why not just knock off shit while you're living, bro? Like, I don't know. That, well, that's what got me into it. I just wanted to go see things and I wanted to like, I've always wanted to go to Baja and I can't wait to go to Baja. And just like places like, like Yosemite. Yosemite's still on our list. And it just keeps on getting pushed back and back. Like, the places we've gone to, it's just like, it's amazing. It's like, you can't even, like Grand Canyon. When we saw the Grand Canyon, that shit was like, I couldn't, I have no words. Like, that shit looks like a painting, even in real life. It's just beautiful. And just seeing my daughter just look everywhere, like, it's, it's an awesome feeling. Like, I just, that's the reason I like going places. It's not because I want to brag about where I've been, or I want to post shit or make a video. I just like going places because I want to be able to tell my daughter like, oh, we like, yeah, we've been to Tahoe or when people ask me like, oh, you know, a good Mexican place, best Mexican place we've ever been to is in Arizona. Arizona. It was at Lake Havasu. Mm -hmm. Lake Havasu. Best Mexican food place ever. Ta uh, Tahoe. Tahoe too. Tahoe, you're invited. Dungeon and uh, Overlanding for Insanity. When we come, you guys don't know this yet, but you will now. We're going to Lake Havasu best tacos in the world. Best Mexican food I've ever had in, right? I would, I would say. All right. Let's start from the bottom. How old is Layla? 21 months. 21 months. Have we said that before? Oh. She'll be two in January. She'll be two in January. A lot of people always ask me like, I'm not good with this months thing. I have a horrible memory. Like my memory completely sucks. So when people ask me stuff, I'm like, yeah, she's almost two. And I've been saying that like almost for a year now. So, sorry. But yeah, she's what, 21? 21 months. She's what, she's 21 months. Favorite hobby besides camping? The problem with my hobbies is that I get hobbies and I have a super like duper addictive personality so when I do something I can't just do it like I'm not gonna just start shooting and buy one gun and I'm done like I, I've never been that way like if I start something I'm gonna go like balls deep into it and it's always been like in the racing scene right now I'm really like I want to get my guns up there to like be able to 
brag about how many guns I have. Like my truck, my truck. Like I always do things to the extreme, I guess. So my biggest hobby besides camping slash overlanding would be probably guns. Like I love guns. Like I wish I had more, but they're so expensive. But like I can appreciate why people should have them, why we need them, why people are stupid for fucking making laws against them. But yeah, I just, I love guns. What about you? Hobbies? Makeup? Couponing. Couponing, oh my god. <laughs> fucking coupon. I have these fucking stupid apps on my phone and they give me notifications like, oh, your wife just verified this coupon, this fucking receipt all fucking day, dude. But yeah, she saves a lot of money, so. I guess that's good. I'm gonna say that one for that. Uh, what's your ultimate trip that you want to have? My Yosemite. Baja. Baja? I just wanna go somewhere where there's a beach. I wanna go to Yosemite because. I think Yosemite is just a beautiful place and it just looks amazing and we saw that one documentary about the the climbers I think it's called like a something uprising some shit but that shit was just amazing how they just like had no worries in the world didn't give a fuck about anything we're just like fucking stoners and alkies and just we're just hanging out at Yosemite and just fucking hike all day and just climb like to me that's just amazing and Baja, yeah, Baja would be a close number two just because I want the all-you-can-eat seafood and I just want to experience like going somewhere and you're in another country. Like to me that just sounds amazing. Next question is, what was the best place you've been to? They asked me that at work. Yeah, from all our trips, what would be the best place for you? Today we went to um, Arizona. The Great Night? Or just, so, that, just that Arizona trip in general was awesome. Because it wasn't as planned. So we went to Arizona one, what, what, four days? We went for four days. And we didn't plan it. Like, somewhat. Somewhat. We planned some places that we wanted to go to, like the Grand Canyon was planned. Uh, our places to stop and stay was planned, but as far as like the trip and like where we were gonna go and see that day That was all just let's just go here today And that was fun just because I Didn't have to plan it. I didn't have to sit there and look up restaurants I didn't have to sit there and look up fucking stores near us in case they needed something We just went and we had a blast because We weren't even supposed to stop at like Havasu Yeah, we went to like Havasu on accident So we left and we went to Sapai. Mm -hmm. We stayed in Sapai. Route 66. We yeah, we went Route 66 and we stayed in Sapai. That shit was amazing. And then from Sapai, we went to Kingsman to get like just random stuff that we needed for Layla and like we had. Oh, that's the first time we ever had a raisin canes, raging canes. What the fuck is it called? I should ball. The chicken place, raging canes. And then from there we went to the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon was beautiful and I regret not spending more time there. Like, I had a blast at Grand Canyon, even though it was a horrible day for me, but I had a blast. Because that was the day uh, Alabama beat the shit out of us. So USC played Alabama and they beat the shit out of us, so. That was a horrible day for me because there was a bunch of Alabama fans there, but whatever, you know? Can't be a hater. Not like fucking UCLA fans, but whatever. <laughs> so from there, we went to Grand Canyon. And then where do we go from there? On there, on coming back from Grand Canyon, we were just driving and we're like, let's go to some water. We've been in the desert this whole time, so let's go to some water. So we looked up Lake Havasu, and I told her I was like, Vegas is this way. How, how far is Vegas? Like another two hours? And then Lake Havasu is this way. We go to Vegas a lot. Before we had Layla, we went to Vegas a lot. So we just said, let's go to Lake Havasu. We went to Lake Havasu, and man, that shit was awesome. The hotel was kind of like sketch. But it was nice inside. But it was nice. From the outside, it looked kind of like. Ooh. That was nice. Is that, the, is that where you spilled the ranch on Leo? No, that was in a curtain. I'll tell you about that right now. <laughs> so, we go to Lake Havasu, 
and we get this room, <laughs> and this room's decent. Like it's nice. Like it's sketchy as fuck outside. It was sketchy. From the outside, it was, it was sketchy. Cool. There was like a like a biker bar, a okay. fucking teddy bar, crackheads, and then like Havasu. So I don't know if you guys ever been to like Havasu, but it's a beautiful town, but it's super sketchy. Super sketchy. So we went there and we had a fucking blast. We wake up and we go eat breakfast and that's where we found Amigos, right? Mm -hmm. Best Mexican food ever. But yeah, I'll tell you guys about Karen and them. Remind me. Answer that one, answer that one, answer that one, answer that one. If you could move, where would you go? That was like on a comment a long time ago. Texas. I would move to Texas. It's in the middle. It's an uh, well, from what I hear and what I see, it's an awesome little state, it's a huge state, <laughs> and I just uh, like that lifestyle amazes me. How like you have no worries, you have obviously you have work, you have bills, you have rent, but it's like your dollar lasts so much over there. I'm pretty sure there's other places, but just because we live in California, like. We get paid and that shit goes. Like we get a bonus and that shit goes. And I hate it here because I have cousins that have the fucking badass houses, newest trucks, like the newest fucking ATVs out there and they're just living, they're just having a blast. I have cousins in Vegas, I have cousins in Nebraska, I have cousins in Texas and they like, I don't know. Like I honestly don't know why I'm still here. I would, I, I, I would say that if my parents and her parents would move out to another state, we would honestly live anywhere but California. Not anywhere, like not New York or something stupid like that. But like, I don't know, somewhere where we can just be free. Like we would even move to Nevada, Arizona, Texas, Nebraska. Like Arizona or like New Mexico? New Mexico, not as yeah. Texas. Oregon, like somewhere like that where it's like, we can just be us and do what we want and not have to worry about like California shit. Like, watch, you guys, when you guys come out here, you'll see it. Like there's regular people stuff and then there's like random stupid California shit you have to worry about and I fucking hate it. And when you come out here, you'll see what I'm talking about. And this one's for you. What? Why doesn't your wife talk more on videos? I guess she's like more like a defense? Like, I'm not, I'm not saying defense, like to keep her away from me. Sorry, my hamsters are fighting. Uh, it's just like when I'm filming, like there's times where like we have to keep an eye on Layla because now she's at the point where if we're not watching her, like she'll go like, she'll just run off. She's a troublemaker. She's a troublemaker. But, god damn, she's fucking awesome. So like kind of like when I'm filming and when I'm doing all this, she's behind the scenes like making sure Layla's like not safe. running off or <laughs> she's safe or you know like because that was her thing like when we first started traveling like our parents were like oh you guys shouldn't take her here like she's gonna get sick she's way too tiny like why are you guys going camping she's gonna, get dirty. she's gonna get dirty but like that's the way we want to raise it like you know like we want her to get dirty we want her to get sick and build her immune system and. You know, like as much as we take her out and the stuff we do with her, she hardly ever gets sick. I think what this past week, she mm. got sick first, and I she got me sick, and now it's way worse than she was. She got better like that. But that's just Layla. Like Layla will be like, like, okay, I'll, I'll admit it. When I get sick, it's like the end of the world because I smoke a lot. And I'm not the healthiest person, so when I get sick, I get like bronchitis, I get strep throat. It's fucking horrible. But they don't see it because like she's never smoked in her life, and she's never experienced strep throat. Because like there's certain times where I get like intense, insane heartburn, and she always thought I was a bitch. She's like, "Oh, you're fucking stupid. Heartburn is fucking made up." Blah blah blah. And then when she was pregnant, she got heartburn, and yeah, she only got a taste of it. So when I get sick, it's because I smoke. So I get like strep throat, I get fucking bronchitis and that shit sucks. And then when she gets sick, obviously mom kicked, mom fucking 
instincts kick in, so she's gotta be tough to still watch Layla. When Layla gets sick, like, you can tell, but she'll wake up fucking laughing, she'll run around and fucking destroy this place, and she just has a good time, so it's like, there's a few times where she'll just lay here and watch YouTube with me and like, hang out, but for the most part, like, you wouldn't be able to tell if she's sick. But, so yeah. What do we get to there from there? Why don't I talk? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, the reason she doesn't talk is because she's more behind the scenes. Like, I want to get her more on camera. That's why she's doing this right now. But it's kind of hard. Like, Layla, Layla's amazing. She listens and she's awesome and she's her own little... It's like having, it's, she likes to do her own thing. Yeah, it's not even like having a baby. It's like having a third... It's like a... She's a roommate. Like, she just walks <laughs> around like, pushes me and, like... I'm thirsty or I'm hungry and it's like it's cool you know like but with her independence like she will walk away and just like I don't give a fuck like I'm gonna go do this like I don't wanna do what you guys are doing but so that's why she's more behind the scenes and I think that was all of them and we didn't even drink that much I'm so disappointed so we should just make it more you should go Life? Mm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going live now on Instagram because we're going to ask some questions to people. Real time? Real time. Am I dressing up for Halloween? That's a great question. I want to be a mariachi. What? Like, Dia de los Muertos? Like, Dia de los Muertos, but mariachi. Like, you know? That's what I want to be. You? What do you want to be? A cat? <laughs> I can just put a headband on. That's fucking... Alright, she wants to be a cat, <laughs> that way she can just put a headband on. Uh, you met Tahoe? Yeah, Tahoe's an awesome dude. Like, he's my role dog, like... Man, that guy's awesome. He's super genuine. Love that guy. What engine is in your rig? Right now I have a 5.0. It was rebuilt. Uh, GT40 heads. Complete new cam. New valves, new springs, new everything. It's just completely rebuilt. I think it has about what? Yeah. I think it has about, uh, I don't know, like 5,000 miles. So it's pretty new. I love that thing. What up, Inner Element? So, Inner Element is another guy that does like these family trips and him and his daughter and cool dude. So go give him a follow, check out his fucking YouTube. Really awesome dude. Next trip, what's our next trip? I wanna do Yosemite. I wanna do Yosemite when no one's there. That's what I wanna do. I saw, uh, I don't know if you guys follow him, but his name is uh, I Am Jake. He did Yosemite in the winter in the snow and he had all of Yosemite to himself. And that's awesome. Like, I know you're, you're not going to see everything and most of the stuff's going to be closed. But just the fact that you don't have to deal with the lines or anything. Like, I want to do Yosemite in the winter. Yeah, the 5.0 comes through. Like, I wish I had a 5.8, but the 5.0, like, there's parts, there's anything you need out there for it. So, the 5.0 comes through. Yeah, Yosemite is always packed. Cause that's our thing, like we want to do Yosemite, but we also don't want to... Cause what was the, the nearest campsite outside of Yosemite? Yeah, it was like two to three hours away. So two to three hours away to leave the park, and then two to, another two to three hours to get back into the park. Like that shit sucks. Like I'm not gonna spend that much time driving back and forth. So... 
I want to go to Yosemite. I want to do Yosemite bad. Like Yosemite is like on my list number one. Like I want to get that shit out of like out of the way. And Bodhi, like I'm down. Bro, I've been trying to like go camping with you for a while, and Bodhi sounds awesome. We are located in what, like Van Nuys, like Nelho area, like between the two. So yeah, I live in the San Fernando Valley. Lucky. Oh, I've been wanting to go to Bodhi for a while. I think Raul was the first one person to ever tell me about Bodhi. And we've been wanting to go for, I wanna go for a while. Like it seems like an awesome just place to relax. Which that's what I need. That's what I need, I need to relax. I, I definitely need to relax. Because I'm very Alright, any more questions? Cause this is all gonna be in our YouTube video as well, so if you guys want to get on the video, get a shout out, just let us know. I should just get up and do like like a fucking MTV crib, like. <laughs> no, please do not. Alright, never mind. This is gross. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so that was us live. We got a few fucking questions. So shout out to the people that hopped on real quick. I know it was short notice. I should have, we should have like announced it mm -hmm. and then filmed it during the video. That'll be part two. Part two. That was something else. But yeah, so that was some questions we got asked. That was some things that I wanted to answer, and the rest of them were all stupid, like. Like why do you hate on Toyotas or like why do you hate on like I don't hate on people. My thing is I don't hate. I'm just gonna I don't like you. That's the thing. Like if I don't like you, I'm gonna tell you. I'm sorry. Like that's the way I am. Like I don't hate you. Do what you do. Like if that's what makes you happy, that's what makes you happy. But I'm not gonna sit there and be like that. You know I don't agree with what he's doing, but he's a cool guy. No fuck that. If I don't like you, I don't like you. I'm sorry. Like that's the way I am. So that was our Q and A. If you guys ever have any questions, anything, like, I will answer them, even if they're stupid. If, if they're stupid, I'm not gonna answer them here. <laughs> if they're extremely stupid, I'm gonna answer them just because you're a fucking idiot. And you fuck your question. But, so that's our Q&A. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't look like I drink that much, but we went to dinner and, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, this is our video. Uh, thank you for watching. Share, subscribe, uh, keep this going because I'm really debating. She doesn't, she doesn't know this, but I'm really debating just quitting. I'm just going full time YouTube. So you know, like if you guys like what we do, tell your friends, tell your fam. Uh, don't tell your kids because it's not uh, kid friendly. All, all that kid friendly, I guess. And I don't want my f bombs to lose you. Uh, that guy was a dick. So, so, for those of you that don't know, this guy commented and he was like, Oh, I didn't know. What do you say? I would expect a review to be able to watch it with my kid, but all these F bombs lost me. Bitch. Like, have you not seen my other videos? Like, no. <laughs> it's not me. I'm not like, yeah, go follow other people, bro. So, yeah. I'm gonna edit this right now, so. I'm gonna try to keep all of it in because a lot of people tell me like Oh, you can ask her. So a lot of people want to know. I get this at work a lot too. The way I am around people is that how I really am at home. Yes. Exactly how you are with people, strangers, he is the exact same way with me and Layla. That doesn't sound right. No, he is because when she does something we were like, hey man, this is oh, how you talk well, yeah. to her. Like, That's the way I, I, all right, so my thing is, all right, so I worked at Home Depot for what, nine, nine, ten years. And I met like corporate, 
I used to meet all these other fucking people. I was a shit at Home Depot. Like, there's no one that can reset better than me. Fuck, you can try it, but you can't. So, you know, like, I would meet corporate people because they would come and film me and put me on their fucking, what are they called? Rigs. They would put me on their rigs. She still works there, by the way. They would put me on their rigs to, like, let's say you have a project and it gives you step by step by step of how to do something. I would be that motherfucker on the pictures because I was so good at it. Sorry. So, they would come up to me and be like, hey, like, how you doing, Mr. Treadle? Like, are you having a fantastic day? I'm like, dog, like, what's up? Like, what do you want me to do today? And that's the way I just talk. I talk to my mom. And when she sees it, like, she thinks I'm weird. But that's the way I talk. And that's the way I treat people. I like to bring people down to me or up to me, depending who you are. <laughs> so that way, like, you know, we're eye to eye. Because it works. Like, if it's working at this job, it's worth at Home Depot. And, like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, yes, sir, Mr. Fucking... Say the last name is Mr. Lopez. Like, you know, like that's not me. Huh? He just said it Yeah, but it's one of those people that I fucking worked with. I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to, I'm like, hey, dog, like, what you want me to do? Like, people look at me and they're like, oh, this guy's a fucking dickhead. I'm a sweetheart. I'm the nicest guy in the world. And I'm a hardworking guy. But if you get on my wrong side, we have problems. And, uh,. Where was it? Where was I working? Where that dude was fucking leaning on my car. Well, he was talking shit outside of work and then he came out to my car and was oh, like... Oh, UPS. Yeah. So, so I was working at a company and this fucking stupid ass supervisor thought I was like, you're a dickhead, blah, blah, blah. I want you to stay at Home Depot. Like, we don't need you here. He was just being a fucking dick. Because he would be like, oh, I'll go finish this guy's truck. I'd be like, right, I'd go finish his truck, I'd go finish my truck, I'd be like, yeah, dog, I'm ready to go. Oh, go finish this guy's bolt. And I would go fucking do it. No questions asked, I would just fucking do it. And he would just look, he would look stupid because he would always be like, oh, look at my new guy, he's not gonna finish. So I would just make him look stupid. So one day, uh, I got promoted to the sorting aisle, which is like, you have to remember zip codes and shit. So I got promoted there, and then it turns out this fucking dickhead comes over to the sorting aisle too. So he like tells me like, hey, like, what's the zip code for like Texas? And I would tell him. Or what's the zip code for like Minnesota? And I would tell him. And he would just always be on my ass, dude, for no reason. And then he would just come up to me and be like, hey, I need you to stay and do these envelopes. I'm like, all right. So he would do the envelopes. I mean, I would do the envelopes and just get them out of the way and whatever. So it turns out this motherfucker comes out to my truck back when I had my blazer, sits on my hood, and just waits for me outside of work. That didn't go so good for him. So, turns out I left and yeah. But that was like, I was still working at Home Depot at the time so I really didn't give a fuck. It was one of those jobs where it's like, I wanted the extra money but I just did it because I was having like a baby at the time. Or we were having a baby at the time so that's why I did it. But, I don't know, like everybody, everybody thinks I'm a dickhead. But I'm not, I'm just a nice guy. Like if you get to know me, I'm really real. And that's, the, that's my main problem. I get really comfortable and I'll, I'll tell you shit straight up. And I'm really upfront, like, like I'll be like cool. Like if you have kids around and they're not used to it, I'll watch what I say, I'll be nice. But at the same time, it's like, if you push me to that limit, you're gonna get the extreme of me. And that's when, the dickhead comes out, so, yeah. Do you want anything, do you want anything to say for me? No? Alright. So, cheers. Thank you for joining us. Um, pretty good. <laughs> buzz ball, I'm telling you. You want to get drunk real quick? Buzz balls. Oh, it is both balls. Mixed drinks have a ball. Chalk taste. It does taste like chocolate. Vodka? That's fucking gross. I didn't even read that. What? Oh, that's nasty. I'm drinking this. Vodka, orange, wine, and cream. Almost they all have like a liquor and wine. But orange and wine? That, that shit was like a white Russian. Ugh. And I work tomorrow, so 
thank you Harbor Freight for scheduling me on the weekend again. <laughs> Come on guys, share, subscribe, <laughs> send it to your friends. Fuck Harbor Freight, man. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll do a part two. We'll do it live, we'll announce it. So that way we can get some more people on it, some more questions. So, thank you. We'll see you guys next time.